Hello FitMe fam, this week we are talking about the FitMe plate. This is one of our staples, our primary tools in FitMe, and I wanna give you a little bit of background on first how to do it, why we should do it, and how to do it on the go. So first off, what's a FitMe plate? This is a tool for help us to help us eat balanced nutrition without having to track and weigh and measure all of our food. Why do we need balanced nutrition? Well, when I say balance, what I'm talking about is portion sizes and also getting a balance of the macronutrient ingredients. So if you missed the training on protein, fat, and carbs, go back and listen to those because those are our primary macro ingredients and what we need to incorporate in a well-balanced diet. So first off, let's talk about those macros real quick just as a brief review. We actually want to consume all of those for different reasons, right? Protein's a really important um, nutrient for building muscle, for repairing um, broken down tissue in our body. Carbs provide energy. Fats are important for hormone production and nutrient absorption. So we need all three of them for different reasons. So when we eat a balanced diet, we have sustained energy. We are better satisfied. We get more nutrition, like more nutrient absorption into our body. So those are all of the reasons we need all of those. And they are the primary things on a FitMe plate. So let's talk about what does a FitMe plate look like? First off, we always start with the protein. So that's the very first thing I want you to put on your plate. And we're talking about primarily lean protein sources. So we're saying, beef, chicken, fish, um, pork, you name it. We're talking that is your protein source. A turkey. So approximately the size of your palm is your protein source. Next, I'd like to go with vegetables. And we're talking about leafy green, um, asparagus, broccoli, like a non-starchy vegetable, right? And so those primarily are in the carb category. Some of them do have some protein in them, but I'd like you to think about them as if you wanted to think about them, where do they fall? They're gonna be carbs, but they're almost always negligible, right? So this isn't like our carb source, but if you wanna know the, the details, they primarily fall in the carb category, but I want you to fill half your plate with veggies. Next, after veggies, we are gonna go with carbs, and these tend to be more of our starchy carb sources. So we're talking about potatoes, um, rice, oats, those kind of starchy carbs, pasta, that can be approximately the size of a tennis ball in on your plate also. So you've got your protein about the size of your palm, then you're gonna fill up half your plate with veggies, then you're gonna go about the size of a tennis ball is your starchy carb, and then last but not least is your fat source. And so typically you're gonna go with a one or two thumb portion of your healthy fat. And so that could be avocado, that could be butter, that could be olive oil, certain salad dressings, all that good stuff is your healthy fat. So why does it matter if we eat all those things at one time? So this is a great question. Like, can I just eat my protein now and can I eat my carbs later? Can I eat my fat later? The answer is yes. At the end of the day, if you are getting in your nutrition throughout the day, then your body's going to absorb it. Now there are some benefits in terms of nutrient absorption, like fat helps with nutrient absorption. So having it combined with other things can be helpful and then also there are some positives in terms of just feeling more satisfied so have you ever eaten something that's like just carbs like say you ate just rice and you didn't feel very satisfied right because it like digests so quickly um, it's in and it's out you're like ready you're like what what else can I eat now or when we combine it we're actually gonna slow things down we're gonna be more satisfied we're gonna our bodies are gonna treat that more like a meal we're probably much more likely to feel like we had some proper food as opposed to feeling like, okay, well, where's my snack? I still need to pick me up. What am I going to get? That kind of thing. So putting those things together can be, you know, great for nutrient absorption, but also can just help with us making healthier choices. And so your body can digest those things individually. It's not like a, a magical thing. However, we highly recommend using an actual plate, number one, putting those things on your plate and then eating them together. And then if you want to go back for seconds, because maybe you're still hungry, I want to encourage you to go back and get some of each, right? Instead of just going back for more pasta, just going back for more rice, just going back for like say mac and cheese, right? Which is like just fat and just carbs that you're actually going to say like, I'm going to have another small portion of the mac and cheese as my carbs, but I'm also going to get another piece, small piece of steak, and I'm going to get some more salad because you see what happens there is all of a sudden we have adjusted our consumption of the starchy carb that we're going to overdo it because we're saying I'm going to have this sort of like balanced plate. And if you're still hungry, there's no reason you could do that. I would recommend just having like a smaller portion the next time you go back for it. But I like that because again, I think it puts us in check. We don't necessarily go back for those like easy to overconsume foods when we're thinking, well, I want to build out a balanced plate. So the reason I like Fit Me Plate is you can do it at breakfast, you can do it at lunch, you can do it at dinner, you can do it on travel, you can do it when you are on the go. So even if you go into a gas station, you can think, okay, 
how do I build a Fit Me inspired plate? I love thinking Fit Me inspired because you know what? Sometimes it's not always gonna look like a perfect plate where we've got our chicken, where we've got our vegetables, where we've got our rice and we've got our olive oil. And you know, like that's a perfect nailed it Fit Me plate. But you know what? Sometimes it's just not gonna look like that. So you gotta think to yourself, how can I do a Fit Me inspired plate? I'm at this gas station. Where can I find some protein? Okay, cool. I found some turkey jerky. Are there any vegetables here? Like go over to that fresh area, grab yourself some celery, you know, and carrots. Okay, got that. Oh, great. It comes with peanut butter. There's my fat. Cool. Do I need a carb? Let me grab an apple, right? So now what you've done is you basically thought to yourself, like, how do I get a Fit Me inspired plate here? And you put those pieces together. Maybe you're at um, a breakfast buffet and you're like, okay, I don't have a lot of choices here, but these are the ones I have. How what am I going to do? I'm going to start with eggs. That's going to be my protein. There's some good fat in there. Are there any vegetables in sight? Okay. I found what? Something. Cucumbers, tomatoes, something that would some maybe sometimes be on breakfast, or maybe they're doing an omelet bar. You can have them throw as many veggies as possible into your omelet, right? So you're like oh, thinking, okay, I got some protein. I got some fat. I got some veggies. What kind of carb do I want? Okay. You know, there's about 7 million carbs at the breakfast buffet. I'm going to pick just one because I know that I'm searching for about the size of a tennis ball, so maybe I'm gonna have half of that big muffin, or I'm gonna have a small bowl of oatmeal, I'm gonna have something like that. So you can look at that and say, okay, fit me plate inspired. Or maybe you're completely like out of the food truck situation. You're like, okay, I'm out on the go, I gotta figure something out here. What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm looking at this menu, and on the menu I see that there's a steak burrito. How can I get as close to fit me plate inspired as possible? So what I'm gonna do is I know they're gonna throw on the sour cream, the guacamole, the cheese, the, all of that, and I don't need all those servings of fat, right? I know I just need one serving of fat. The tortilla is gonna be my carb, so I'm gonna get car I'm gonna get the burrito with with steak. I'm gonna ask them to put those other things on the side. I'm gonna get lots of veggies in there, and then I'm good to go. Right, so you can kind of think it through and this is such a great way for you to eat healthy on the go without having to weigh and measure all your food and then get in that balanced nutrition that your body needs. And so that's how you're gonna do a Fit Me Plate. And remember, Fit Me Plate inspired, this is not a black and white rule. This is a tool that you can use to eat healthy and balanced meals so that you can fuel your body properly. Now, as you start to dial it in, I always tell people Fit Me Plate is a great starting point, but if you are trying to lose your last five to 10 pounds, you're preparing for a big event, you are doing something where you need to be more specific, you might have to start measuring your food a little bit to make sure your portion sizes are in check. Or maybe you've been doing Fit Me Plates for a while and you're like, hey, I'm not really seeing the weight loss that I would expect to see. I'm doing like two Fit Me Plates a day and I'm, my third meal is pretty reasonable. Like what's going on? Well, maybe it's time to do a little sanity check on those portion sizes. You might need to get out the food scale, might need to get out the measuring cup, make sure you're actually getting the portion sizes that you need. Um, that's always a re another really great tool that you can combine with the Fit Me Plate to get yourself the best possible nutrition. And so remember, what we recommend for most people is to try to shoot for two Fit Me Plates a day. That's two plates that you really thought through and you're like, this is a Fit Me Plate or very closely Fit Me inspired meal. And that third meal, you know, if you can knock out another third Fit Me Plate, you're in business. But if not, just do the best that you can. Think through, where am I going to get some protein, you know, and then just go with it. And so that is the Fit Me Plate. I'm going to include a Fit Me Plate guide for everybody if you don't have it. One of the best places to start with nutrition is to shoot for 100 Fit Me Plates. We've played this game a bunch of times in the past, but if you're like, I, this sounds like something I can do I want to shoot for my first 100 Fit Me Plates. Talk to your coach about that. That might be something awesome to work on. Um, and so let me know if you need anything. But go after those Fit Me Plates. Start building Fit Me Plate meals. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.